Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV. Today we're going to be racing at the Twin Wing... Man, I already butchered it. Dang. Alright, Twin Ring Motegi. This will be uh, the first race in the Cars and Cup Series at Japan and also only the second race in the Cars and Cup Series history outside of the United States. Uh, the other uh, race, the first race that was outside of the United States would be Rainbow Road, which was raced in 2021. The winner of that race was NASCAR Fireball 48. Um, so NASCAR Fireball 48 does have the opportunity to go um, when all of the would have uh, does have the opportunity to win here, making him the only driver to win outside, or making him be able to hold the pedestal being the only driver in the CCS to win in the CCS in a race outside of the United States. And he would still have the 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 whole the uh, the uh, bragging right of having won the only race in outer space in the CCS. Uh, unless we go to the Rainbow Road again, that would depend on the schedule vote. Anyways, Quadruped starting pulling the one car. It's a 10 point bonus. He is currently just a few points back in standings. He is only 21 to the uh, below of the cut line and 20th in the standings. So, great start for him. And then um, Gunther looking to get some consistency going. He's had none. Even that win at Darlington was pretty much a fluke. I'm going to be dead honest. Uh, that was just a straight up uh, great place, great timing. Whole field wrecked, took advantage, so good for him in that part. Hopefully he can get some good runs today, maybe some consistency going. I don't think he's a playoff contender, unless he can get some really good runs going, but we'll see. Race 24 out of uh, something. I think, I think we got a few races to the playoffs, I think five, maybe six. Maybe less than that, but we'll see. Um, starting third, Drummer Chick 81. Starting fourth, uh, Joy Paints. Sixth place starter, or fifth place starter is Sean Ard, who's also been very consistent. He's put himself fourth place in standings, based purely on consistency. And, of course, that went at Portland, but, uh, he wasn't as well as where he is now when that race happened. And then, uh, talk about points lead. If this race were to finish where it starts, Barry Thurston the third starting in P23. Just hypothetically speaking, if this race were finished where it started, Joy Paints would be one point behind the point lead um, in that case scenario. We'll have to see how it goes. This is Twin Ring Motegi, 30 laps, and we have two drivers making their debut. Uh, one of them was fast in practice. Uh, Byron Webb's presently was fast in practice. His qualifying efforts do seem about accurate to his NCCRS performance. However, even this is a little bit... Uh, better than uh, what I was expecting, to be honest. But, you know, um, solid debut. Uh, Japan, so it may have a niche for this track specifically. We'll see. We'll see. And then another driver making their debut is Frank Chilton. Uh, we'll see how he does. He's uh, currently in a very feisty points lead battle. I'll have to, I haven't updated points yet for the NCCRS, but last time it was updated, he was second in standings. And then uh, one more thing. Kyler Sustray in the five car today. Uh, starting on back needs a good um, good finish for Reggie Fogelman to keep uh, Reggie in the playoff fight. Currently six hey, points above the cut line coming into this race. Howdy, howdy, howdy. And there's Reggie Fogelman there. Uh, he's going to be here with us today. Um, I pretty much got most everything out the way. Um, go ahead and talk about the weather. I did not record the weather, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in a little graphic there for you all that way. Viewers can see the weather. I don't know. I might put it there. might not. We'll see. Um, anyways, uh, Reggie, you got any thoughts? Yes, I do. I just hope this ain't a wreck fest like last time. Yeah, no, like, the last few races have been total wreck fests. Um, this I expect to be different. I know I said that about the last two, and you have every reason to believe against me, so let's see if the proof stays in the pudding, or if I will once again be made a fool of, but uh, only time will tell on that, as we're about uh, 10 seconds to the command, and uh, Quadruped going to lay us to the green, I believe second time of the season. Drivers! Start your engines! Alright. 
30 laps. We got 41 drivers. This is Japan. Reggie, you want to call the green? I don't know if they ever restart zone or not, just wait for him to guess it. Alright, green flag in the air here at Twin Wing Motegi. 30. And the 76 chokes turn one. They're already three wide back there. They are, the 76. Uh, Gunther did not have a great turn one and has already fallen back outside of the top five. The top I'm lane. Back. I told back there around 20th. They're already three wide back there. Holy moly. Yep. Oh, and they do have a wreck already. Was not expecting that. Oh, no. Oh, my. Dang. Holy cow. Barrel rolling down one. The 40. The caution has come out. Can we see what just happened? Uh, uh, that was weird. All right, I wasn't even expecting that. You know what? I think I've been made a fool of again. It wasn't the 67 to leave the 97 as they race back to the yellow. Uh, quadruped going to lead him to it. 18 a bird with heavy damage. He was third in standings coming into this. Did not need that. Let's start out here in the back. You noted, you noted it. They were going three wide. No, they were four wide there for a second. All right, so let's take a look here at this first wreck. Looks like, uh, yeah, nice seven just full sent it. Forty-four didn't give enough room. Sent him around. Hits the wall. We had a few cars three wide there, but it looks like most of them cleaned it up pretty quick. Now watch the 40 here of Cazzo along with Kyler, Sustri, and Bird. Let's see what happened here. So they're three wide. Very, they are touching. Yeah, no. This was doomed to failure as they hit the pit wall at a terrible angle, knocking both of them in the air. Cazzo going for a ride right in front of Jessica and in front of last week's one of Dark Rain, who has... Probably some plentiful damage there as Kaz is going to roll in turn one. And, man, his season's just gone from bad to worse in terms of finishing. He's got speed. He just can't find the anything there. Unfortunate. So, we are under yellow, surprisingly. Wasn't expecting that, to be real with you. So the one car, Quadruped, getting some laps led, and he needs them. He is right at the cut line, or 20th in standings. I uh, definitely use those, and then got some other guys up here that are right there in the, the points battles that they have of their own. As Sean Ard looking for third in standings, NH looking actually right where Sean Ard's at, pretty much. Enjoy Paints looking to take that back, that points lead. Let's see where Barney Thresher is faring. We're going green next time by. He is 19th. He's already made up quite a few spots to withhold that points lead. We'll see if he is successful. Now let's see what uh, who is still in the race. Real quick, turn on our standings. Um, the 40 and the 18 are out. No surprise, 88 with heavy damage, and the 97 may have some damage along with the 24. We'll see how they fare once we go back green. Didn't think we'd get a yellow on the first lap. All right, going green next time. German chick 81, make, better make sure she does not jump the start. Um, doesn't really been in a good spot to win a race in a minute, so jumping the start would be not ideal. 
to check on the top 10. Gunther is still in the top 10 somehow, but he really fumbled that start. Also, remember the rules of car length, not a literal jump of the start. So let's see how that all ends up. All right, Reggie. Uh, better go on our first, and hopefully, I want to hopefully say final restart. We'll see. Make sure 81 doesn't jump. We'll keep an eye on it. Mm, all right, she's good. Eighty-one with a good restart and forty already trying to take that spot away. Does allow the eighty-one to keep it. Oh, twenty-three of uh, Sammy. Oh, seventy-one of Bobby Isaac. Ah oh, man, are you kidding me? You're kidding me, man. Ton of cars. The 60 is on the wall. Ouch. Hey, we got the game right there. He is going to have to park it. That is... Oh my gosh. That is a nasty wreck. I'll right, see what happened here. This was... This caused a huge stack up. Starting at 9, Zach. That's where you're going to get your shot from. Man. I've been fooled again. How do hey, I fumble I, this hard? I told you it was going to be a wreck fest. I told you. I was hoping you were going to be wrong. The points leader was involved. The 82 is 64. Jonah Burridge. Frank Chilton got a little bit of damage. This is and where... Frank Chilton sent you right here. Yeah, that 60 Bam. car got literally rammed into the back of... How do you get put in a position like that? That is the worst stack up I've ever seen. That's that. Traffic jam on the highway. Yeah, you wouldn't expect it a track this big though. I kind of want to blame it on a track issue because usually the cars are going on the bottom. That's weird. All right. See, after that, uh, probably bigger list of cars out because. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be the 42 of Gif Jordan, uh, 54 of Dripsy, maybe, 51 of, uh, it looks like 54 is good, but the 51 of Yoiko, 60 maybe, he's still on the pits, and then Rich Crown Jr.'s out, a few other cars damage in the back, we'll see how that fares. Again, I have been fooled, oh, they shouldn't wreck, oh no, they, they, they wrecked. They can't even get a green fly lap in. Like, I don't even want to use this mod anymore if this is going to keep doing this. Like, NCCRS races are going fine. No issues. Well, I mean, some issues here and there, but like, I have made the setups. Like, I took away their drafting, but I, just, I don't know what they need. Give them everything. But no. No, I'm just like, it's frustrating. Anyways, we'll try to get some green flag laps, and I'm hoping, like, at least some green flag racing. They don't send it three wide into a corner. I'm going green this time. Alright, that's going to hurt the uh, 59. Well, actually, no, it doesn't. He's actually in 13th now. Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Hopefully no more wrecks. Yeah, 
You know what? You're you're right. But like, I was just one can dream. German Chick eighty one leading some laps. Hey. We got Jim Burge joining join the booth. Uh, Jonah, we're currently lap nine out of thirty. We've had two cautions. Uh, uh eighty one cars current leading. First. And uh, we're about to go green for the second time. And hopefully no more X, because uh, I've been fooled. <sighs> don't well, let's, let's the hope first the rest. And second. Uh, first and second was uh, 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 the one in the 76. The 76 fell back. The one got passed by a good start by the 81. Again, I say good start, not a violation start. Ah. Uh. Violation start. Uh, I'm keeping close eye on that, so don't worry about it. I'll be the decider. Race on cars going in. If those are jumps or, uh, or if those are violations or not, green flag is now back underway from the second caution. And that seventy one car is fast. I swear, if that one car goes three wide in a while, oh, there it goes. We went on to the second caution. Uh, the nine got spun out after everyone went three wide. Ah. Uh. Looks. I don't know why they're crunching up so Am hard. I still Am I still in the race? Or? Yeah, you're. I think you're still in the race. You're involved in one of them, though. 77 going three wide. That won't work. In and fact, I, that's going to cause a wreck. I see. Did we get a green flag? Oh, wait, Sean already did the lead, but are we green? Oh, we're green. Yay. They made it They made it one lap. They did it. Oh, I'm still in. Never mind. I can see it. Yeah, you, you got a and... ton of damage, though. You'd be lucky um, to finish. I'll say that much. Yeah. But yeah, Sean Arden did lead. Almost made, uh, almost nearly the champion. Almost made it to the playoffs. Yeah, you didn't need that. Yeah. Alright, can we make it green a second lap? Purple wide deck to the bank. Where do you see these things? Because I'm looking back there and I don't see Scott. Is that Frank Chilton already in the top 10? In his debut? Uh -huh. Dang, that's impressive. And Joy Paints. She's looking for her fourth one of the season. She's the first, she's the first never driver to win back-to-back -back, um, Crown Jewel events. Looking to be the first driver uh, since 2018 to win uh, four races in one season. No one's done it since uh, John McFadden in 2018. Battle for the lead, heating up. NH in the 17 won at Old Spice, and don't call that a fluke because he's been very consistent ever since. Sean Ard led a couple laps good. there. Sean Ard, third NH points and right now. Sean Ard side by side for the lead. We got a pass. And the 81 of German Chick 81 goes down below of the 77. I want to watch that uh, 0 3 car. He was 3 wide going to 3 there. He's good. All right, I want to check the guys in the back. Um, we may have to manually DNF some of these guys if it's bad enough. Fun, fa fun fact about um Japan: NASCAR went to Japan, and both at um the Suzuka um at the Suzuka course and um this track, and both of them won from um uh Mike Skinner. That was the true. That was the truth, and it, and it's the truth that um that um Mike Skinner won both of those tracks in Japan at the end of the season at the end of the eighties at the at the end of the eighty series. All right, that's twenty one cars. Twenty two cars gonna be slow up front. Hopefully he goes to pit road before they catch him, and I think he will. Unfortunately, he had to be manually removed from the race due to being too far off pace. I'll turn off our standings that we review. As you can see, our normal ticker provided by Stinger TV, by the way. Quadruped still holding up side in the top 10. Started pole, led a few laps, led another lap, then Sean Ard took it. In fact, all the MRE cars were in well today, except for Zine. Unfortunately, got caught up in one of the first, the first accident of the race when uh, he glided into the wall off of four. Frank Chilton, very aggressive there. Trying to get around as a uh, 81, a drummer chick, 81. Battling for third. Man, these guys 
battling right now. 04 and the one. They don't call him. For, they don't call him uh, raw pace for nothing. He is running well. Didn't show much speed in qualifier practice, but race trim. That's where he's got his niche. Even here in Japan, at a fairly difficult track, I will say. 23 has also been successful in getting around the one car. And Sean R does not have a problem with being in second right now, as I think that uh, 17 may just be a tad quicker. That would be my assumption there, as the 77 is starting to lag back just a tad. After that, check our standings, make sure the pace isn't too bad. I think the 54 will be alright. Maybe. If he gets in a yellow, he'll definitely be alright. Again, we'll have to see. No, ca no third caution so far. Yeah, yeah. Couple, first mm. couple of rough laps, they had to get their stuff through, but they're good. Yeah. Bobby Isaac having a decent run today in 8th place. Very aggressive, I will say, on the restarts. And so far it's worked out for him, so... can shake him. But Sean R, currently third in standing, he's actually starting to lose a little bit of time to that 17. That 17 just a bit quicker, and you see the 81 going for second here on the bottom. We haven't seen the 81 in the 17 race, so we'll see who's faster of those two. German chick, no win since uh, 2021 at uh, Bristol. And wow, and that two-move decision will take the bottom lane as the 17 did not have a great runoff of two. And will take the lead. The, if this... the 2021 champion has taken the, over the lead. Uh, season points champion. Yeah. The 2021, not the actual champion. Yeah. But yeah, that one, two, move, two spots in one lap, that's impressive. But the 17 wants it back. Oh, he's going to battle for it. 04 is caught up a bit. 17 going to go low here. Going to try to retake that lead. They have definitely had speed. And uh, they definitely have consistency. They just haven't gotten a win since Old Spice. And they're in need. They, I wouldn't say they're in need of one. But they kind of in a spot right now. That they, they should have a win to show for something. Sean Art has been also very consistent the past few races. and uh, I mean, proof's in the pudding. That's all I'll say, but his team owner slash teammate right behind him is second to last in the standings trying to get around him as well. And you got Frank Chilton trying to get around our current uh, second in point standings car and Jazz 500 winner. And two cars are the same sponsor battling as something else. But Sammy hasn't won a race since, uh, I, think he won la I think he won two races last year. Funny enough, Widowmaker was his last win. And of course he won the Jazz 500 last year as well. Hasn't shown anything since, but is uh, hoping to turn that around. Yeah, I hear you. I got a special announcement. 81, trying to make another move back to the lead. These two are back and forth. Part. Both these two, I think... Part. You need a... Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Oh. The, it, it's so difficult when you go out of turn four. It's really difficult to make a run. That That's the most difficult part in this in the series so far at Twin Ring. Monte, Montigui. 23 car looking for a second here. That 17 may have used up some of his stuff. You also got to keep in mind draft's huge here. Oh, 81 was also a little bit slow coming into the corner. 23 definitely needs a good finish today, as he is second to last in standings. Last in standings is defending champion and uh, uh, Denver Road Course winner Evan H. Which just goes to prove that you can have a win, but if you ain't got no consistency, you ain't going to have a good point standing. So, Evan H has proved that, and a terrible runoff of the corner by the 81 at 60, uh, the 23 able to capitalize. Tuning box look, uh, looking to lead some a lap here, should be big. Oh, I didn't even pay attention. We are coming to the end of this race. And we're Very down shortly. To six laps to go this time by. Nice call there. I know it's easy to get the laps confused. That 23 has taken a decently big lead. Middle Road Energy has not ran uh, won a race as a title as a as a uh, sponsor on a car. In the CCS today may be the day as he's at uh, uh, two MR Middle Road Energy cars in the top three right now. The other one, unfortunately, uh, Zion. I'm not even sure if he's still in the race. He is well off pace in 26, but 
Yes, sir. Look who's on the move. Who? Mr. Rawpace himself. He's already Yeah, 0-4 Frank Chilton living up to his name in the lower series. The 0-4 has fallen off a ton. Dang. Um, he's hung out right about right about there. I don't, I don't know if he's got a winning car, but he's definitely got... You said it. I'll say it again. Raw, you said it once that Raw Pace, he's got that. Oh no, car, they they got together. The 32 and the 48 did. Don't know how they didn't wreck there. That would have been an that would have been oh, that would have caused a wreck and put us in overtime, which would have been insane. Don't really want that because that would risk the race being bad. Oh snap! I just had a scary leg spike. Oh gosh, that was scary. The game would have crashed there. Man, that would have been bad. Yeah. If the game crashes, that would be bad. Our 81 car. Neither of these guys want to race in a minute. 81, a little bit more hungry. 45 into the 17 off of four. He's aggressive. Got top 10 last week. Only going to pull that top 10 streak ahead. As we are three laps to go here at Twin Wing, Twin Ring Motegi. I'm still butchering that name. All right. 32 battle arm with a 45 I, in the back. I had, I nearly called it um. Twin twin wing Monte Monte Yeah, we instead of the ring, it's um wing. And we both aren't saying it right. Yeah, and Sean Arn is right. taking second as we are now two laps to go. Sean Arn looking two for laps. a second one of the season. Let's see if uh two laps to go. Man, this could be seventy seven's going on the bottom of the eighty one. This could be a middle road energy one two finish. Sammy, Sammy in the box, the twi the last year's Jazz 500 winner. We'll take a win. We'll take a win another win. But, Let's see. Uh, but we still got another lap here. Ring Monte Let's we'll see. Well, he's still got another lap to hold him off. As Cheers. they come to the final lap, white flag, one lap to go at Twin Wing Twin Ring Montegi. Sean's got to run. Oh, that 22, 23 didn't have a great corner. Sean's gonna do it. He's gonna have to be right here. I don't think he's got the. I don't think he's got the. We'll see. He's gonna have to do it right here. here. Come. He didn't. Yeah, they come to the final corner. If he makes a move, another. If he um, if he um, makes a pass on the inside, but doesn't matter. Sammy the box. Last year's Jazz Five Winner will win at the another. At, um, twin ring Montagi. And a middle road energy one two finish in your po uh, second in points place finishes se uh, third. Second, yeah, third. And then Frank Chilton in his Cars and Cup Series debut finishes fifth. That's impressive. Alright. Call that good. Um. Cars that did not re did not finish. Go and go through. Uh, that would be Gunther, um, Real Gaming Freak, Daniel Paulus Jr., Garth Salamander, Reverse Crown Jr., Cody Forge, Yoiko, Geff Jordan, Kazo, and Bird. So that's gonna be interesting point shakeup. But we'll see where the 59 finished. And it looks like Joy Paints will be successful in retaking the points lead after where this race. Uh, the five finished seventeenth. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, let's see if Reggie can stay above the cut line after this. If not, there's still time to regain. But uh, any last thoughts? Not. No, really. All right. Oh well, wait, yeah, I got one. All right, go ahead. Um, next race we'll be going is at um. Is at Bristol. Hopefully, Holy snap. hopefully we'll have joking, clean right? racing. At... Huh? Oh snap! You gotta be joking, dog. Hmm? You gotta be joking, man. My yeah. gosh! My gosh! And it's gotta be my gosh. Well, dang. Time to go crunch it on set up. But anyways, hopefully we don't do it last like last time at Bristol that from yeah. last season i would rather have a bristol uh ncrs boring bristol like same guy leads the whole race and just stay green but like 
I kind of don't want that. If I can avoid that and still have clean racing, I'll have it. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. Reggie, you got any last thoughts? Oh, wait, I just asked you, but did you come up with any? I'm good. All right. Um, Middle Road Energy 1-2 finish. Same in the box's first win in a minute. German Chick couldn't hold it, but still third place solid finish for them. They needed it. Um, Joy Paints will retake the points lead unless something zesty happened in standings. But um, first race outside of the United States since 2021. Um, and like uh, Jonas said, we'll see at Bristol. Hopefully Bristol doesn't see us before we see it. And from this Cars and Cup series, me, Jonah, and Reggie Fogelman, we'll see you then.